Good morning. Hey, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> request for well someone wanted me to show a tutorial for how I get rid of dark under eye circles and I have a huge issue with under eye circles because I showed a before and an after on Instagram you guys I have dark under eye circles all the time especially like right in here I would always kind of like look for other ideas as far as how everyone else would do their under eyes and it was kind of like everything that I would try that someone else did, it just did not work for me. So then I just sat down one day and decided to do it on my own just because I was getting so annoyed with it failing every single time I did it. I just want to give you a little bit of education on how to hide them first before I start. This is the Color Correcting Concealer Palette and it has all these colors in here for a reason. So, on a color wheel, it shows you your primary colors. And your primary colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet. I got that out. So, on the color wheel, it's going to have like colors that are opposite of each other. So, opposite of each other on the color wheel are yellow and purple, orange and blue, red and green. So that's kind of what you need to remember. Whenever you combine those two primary colors, that's going to give you a neutral. And I use this in the salon with um, hair color, with makeup, whatever. And it really helps you understand how you need to neutralize some of these stronger tones. So with my eyes, and I have my little monitor right here, so you'll have to kind of bear with me. So I have both blue and purple tones that are on my lid and in the inner corner and then underneath. I'm going to use a yellow and an orange based concealer to cover them up and neutralize it. You'll see that I'm using like all kinds of different colors just because that's what I need for correction of these bad boys. So I'm going to show you and we will get started. So what I've already done is I've already washed my face and moisturized. This is the Smashbox primer and it's the photo finish. I really like it. I only use about like that much. And I rub it in between my hands and sometimes I feel like I need more. So I'll just grab a little bit more and I put it all over. All right. I got that. Really good herbivore. The next thing that I'm going to use, and just keep in mind that these are the steps that work for me. They might not work for you, but they work for me. The next thing that I'm going to use is the Milani Make It Last Setting Spray. Probably a little bit too much, but it's all right. Then I let it dry in, and sometimes I fan myself. Just like this. <laughs> I sprayed a ton of it on me. The next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take out my NYX Color Correcting Palette and I'm going to use a Wet n Wild Concealer Brush. I'll probably switch between this yellow one and this one right here and kind of start right in this inner corner. And you can already see that once I'm getting um, this on there that it's already starting to work. Grab a little bit more and get going on that and you really um in the beginning you don't have to do um try to like blend it all in because i will go back in with a beauty blender and i always add it at my lash line up here so now that i have that on i'm gonna do the other eye with my yellow all my contact. I'm going to use this um, orange based one right here and kind of go on top of the yellow and just so that I'm making sure that I'm hitting some of those places that have some blue in there that that yellow will not correct. And I just dab it on there. I 
I'm going to use a damp beauty blender, and you can see where, I, <laughs> where I'm used it. Let's, oh, God, oh, geez, I need to wash that. But I just take it and blend all of that in. So now that I have that done, it looks like I have, it looks pretty much flawless. The next step that I'm going to do is I'm going to set it with the setting spray again, just because it seems like a lot of setting spray, but I found that this works. So there, I set that and I'm going to let that dry. Now I'm going to move on to, to the liquid camouflage concealer by the brand Catrice and I'm going to use that all on my eyes. So I'm going to actually just dot it lightly on my eyes. I go back in with my beauty blender and blend it all in. Now I have that on there and it looks like I'm looking at myself over here. Yeah, it looks like I have absolutely no issue at all, like nothing. It almost looks ghostly. So that is it for this particular video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And don't forget to download the app and subscribe to my channel and then press that little bell so that you have an alert whenever I have a new video up. Thanks for watching. Have an awesome day.